Hello there, fellow YouTubers. This is Internal Arsenal with a review of Quantum Break. So let's get let's get into the story. The story of Quantum Break is, begins with Jack Joyce going to see his brother at a university to see what he's been up to the past few years. As he gets to the university, he finds Paul. Paul's a scientist working with your brother to, f to create a time machine. As you're going through the university, Paul will guide you through the university and tell you all about their experiments, how they came up to the point they created a time machine. As you get close to the time machine, Paul will suggest for you to help him out to turn the machine on. But as you turn the machine on, something happens. And Paul will tell you he has to, he needs your help to try to fix it. As he's trying to fix it, your brother pops up and tells you, no, Paul has to be doing something devious and you have to stop him from what's, what's about to go on. And at that point, that's where the game begins. Jack, Joyce, and Paul are caught in a big explosion. Also, at the same time, because of the big explosion, when you're next to the time machine, you're given time powers. At this point, everything goes to shit. And you're the, and the main protagonist trying to go through time to stop Paul, who becomes a super villain. Because he just wants to... It's kind of weird, this game, because it shows his point of view of, of everything that happens. Because after the explosion, he's sent back a few years. And then he grows throughout the, I think it's 12 years throughout the game. And he becomes the owner of the... No! 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 At this point, your brother is telling you time is collapsing. They must find a way to stop time from ending. And also, at the doing? same time, you have Paul, who has come from a uh, future Paul, who has come from the future to the past because he wants to, he wants to make sure everything happens the way he wants it to happen. So if time is about to collapse, he wants to find a way to stop it on his own way. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me, and we can see this through. Listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can't. You can't. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. Take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles. Eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on this room. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to steal. In that violence, 
was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on the USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. So what is Quantum Break? It's a third-person action-adventure, third-person shooter with time-power mechanics for you to utilize throughout the game, which most of the powers are time speed, bullet shield, stop time in a certain area, um, a time bubble, time, and a time bomb, all given to you in the first three acts. So in the final two acts, by the time you upgrade all your powers, it doesn't really seem to have changed anything by that time. As you play the game, there are five chapters. The first four chapters have a 22 minute episode. It all depends every time, every single time you beat a chapter. Because at the, every time you beat a chapter, you, you play as Paul. Paul gets to walk around, look at emails just like you do. He has one power, which is the time, the, the time thing that you can see all the surroundings, see anything you can pick up. So at the end, almost in that point of his game, he gets to make a choice. His, he gets two choices. One choice is either to do it this way or to do it that way. It tells you what happens if he does it this way, and you can make the game easier or harder on yourself. Now let's talk about the episodes. It's basically it's basically watching like any sci-fi even um, sci-fi show. It gives you some snippets of what's, uh, of the show of the background of every of the villains. It's mostly the super soldier, the tech guy, and the one black man in the show. Because there's only one black guy in the show. Seriously, you don't even get to you don't even confront him throughout the whole whole game. And so <laughs> I was like, ah, damn. If you you mostly know him from from Fringe, or one of my favorite shows back in the day. The episodes are fine, but it basically just tells you, hey, while you're playing the game, me have to stop you. For playing your game if you could watch an episode of Lost or French if you <laughs> that's how you that's how I see it say so we gotta force you to stop you from playing the game for you can watch an episode throughout the game this like a small little object that you pick up and they do time um, time wrinkles everything is it'll be like a little yellow circle that, that does like a ripple thing every single time you touch it when you see it throughout the TV show, it affects something. Like, uh, let's say you pick up a, this in the second night, there's a little dinosaur. If you pick up the dinosaur, it affects small things. You see, you'll see, like in the football team, will pick up a dinosaur mascot. You'll see a few times, or there's one point in the game that it, you see a time wrinkle. The guy gets to a certain party and he forgets his invitation, and him and his wife have an argument. So what is the gameplay? It's a third person cover shooter. With with your time powers, you don't really have to take cover. The game is easy. This game is not hard. Most of, there's only like six well, if six enemy types. There's a regular grunt, there's a grunt with a shotgun, there's this one the guys they um you you see these guys with these orange suits and they go work around while time is frozen completely. The second, the fourth one is uh the same common same type of guy, but he's wearing a white suit and he has a backpack that ha gives him into to do the time speed, which if you look if you start learn um if you play games and, and play games most of your life, when you see him doing the time speed, all you have to do is follow his trail, his trail of light. It'll be like a yellow light. They every time he runs, it shows it shows you where exactly he's at. And the fifth one. It's it's a big it's it's a big guy in black. He has a he has, he's mostly pure armor. He either has a real gun or a shotgun. Mostly easy to take out. Just use your time the time blast. Shoot him in the hand a few times. Then the sixth enemy type that you'll see is the big guy. 
He's, he's mostly more armored, more stronger. He has a real gun. And this guy could kill you easily. But, like, like this game shows you, you could freeze time. You could burst up behind him and shoot his backpack. Do that a few times, you take him out easily. And the last one is the main boss, which you don't really get to fight. He stands on a platform. He sends his grunts. You kill the grunts. He shows another. Gr uh, he shoots to another platform. You, you. He does that time. The time burst that you do, but it's much bigger. It's much bigger. It just, all you gotta do is run it high for a second. Then come back, shoot him. You jump back to the platform. Risk and repeat the whole time. Trust me, the game's not that hard. It, it gets repetitive a lot because all you do is stop. Shoot the enemies, go to the next area. Stop, shoot the enemies, go to the next area. Now, is the game fun? The game is fun for the first few acts. It usually gets more, it gets crazier by the time you get to the fourth act. That's where everything you saw at E3, the little clip of the bow hitting the bridge, that is the best part of the game. Because the visuals on that area is crazy. And let me get down to the whole resolution thing with this game. Because this game <laughs> has this nasty ass motion blur. I can't stand it. I have a 65 inch uh, Panasonic TV. And this thing, every time I saw that freaking fog in the game with the lighting effects. It messes the, it messes the game up. Because the game is... Is like it's supposedly 720p, not 900p, a native, but it's upscaled to 1080p. So it blurs a lot of things, a lot of things in the game. And this is a fact to be doing since the PS3 and Xbox 360. If the game is the, is the resolution is really low, they upscale it. But when you do upscale, it makes it it makes it foggy. It makes everything foggy. When they show the pre-render cutscenes, it looks great. But once you actually play the game. They, they everything's great the fuck out and you're like what the, why does it look weird you stand that's what light it looks weird it's blurry i don't know why it's the fact they're trying to do it because for the xbox one because it's not really that powerful to, for this game there's a lot of physics in this game i mean a lot of physics you could walk up to any item push it to the side and you see it burst you see it move almost any little item but i have one gripe with this game with the time powers Throughout the whole game, you see everything stop time. You can stop, uh, the, the time is fr freezing around you. In one, the, in one the show, in the, while you're watching the show, he could grab a gun from any of the enemies and walk away. You know, Remedy could have done one thing. Hey, um, while you're playing the game, you can freeze time in a certain area, grab everybody's gun, and walk. And just walk away from everybody. You have, the, you have the power. You have the You have the power to freeze time. Why can't you just grab a gun and walk away if I don't have to shoot every single person? Maybe I don't want to kill every single person. While you're watching the show, you feel bad for you you're killing all these henchmen. And the point that the name is Monarch made me <laughs> made me think of my favorite show right now. The, the what was the show name? The Adventure Bros. All I can think about the main villain is the monarch with the giant stupid wings and his AJ21. I was like, why do you pick the name Monarch? Every single person that watches any, any kind of animation knows about the Adventure Bros. So that's my little gripe. It's a little thing. It's a little, little Easter egg for anybody that actually plays the game and knows and watches the show The Adventure Bros. The monarch is one of the main villains. He didn't even, he didn't even use the same colors as yellow, it's black and yellow. It's like, wow. <laughs> now, the game is fun. The game is about 10 hours. Now, if you take away the movie episodes, the TV episodes, it's like eight, maybe eight hours. Yeah, I played it play on uh, normal. I didn't really want to waste my time playing hard because. And it doesn't really even when you make all the branching all the branching choices you, there's no ending there's no other ending you have one ending that's all so everything you have done is like okay for if you want to play through it again but I don't want to play through the game again if you had different choices if the different choices had an actual effect throughout the game 
that by the time you get to the ending, you have like different endings. But no, you get one ending, so it kind of kills the move because every single time you play as a villain, you get to pick a different choice. Say, so, yeah, okay, I do. I gotta get more endings, but no, my god, the end is one actual ending. I was like, all right. I see they didn't really care, so I don't know why they give you all these damn choices for it to have the same ending. Well, all right. So here, here we go down to the, to the score. I only I like to do my scores with no numbers. I just to tell people buy it, rent it, or burn it. This game is a rental. You beat it in one day, or you yeah you beat it mostly one day. But if you want to take your time, you, you read all the emails, but they really don't do anything other than give you more information about the characters you don't care about. You won't care about no other characters. Only maybe the main girl that you that you play with, that she that she comes along with you throughout the time. But other than that, you don't really don't really have to do all that nonsense. Just to get more information about a game, of, you really not gonna care about the villains. You are really not to. Now the score is is a rental. Power for a friend, or do the game sharing on on the and the Xbox One with one your friends because. If the game the game is sixty dollars right now, so just wait till it drops to maybe thirty. It's one of the it's one of the it's not really exclusive anymore because it equals again the PC, but the PC has a Windows Xbox Store, which is pissing off a lot of PC players. So I don't know if you want to do that. So just get at the Xbox One on um, when when dropping price, and maybe you enjoy it. You will you will enjoy the game, but I don't. Mm, it's not gonna be a game changer. It's not gonna win game of the year this year. So do it. just try it out. Uh, this is Eternal Arsenal. Thank you for thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you later.